Hello, I'm Buck Paulson from Prairie Public's Painting with Paulson art show. Please watch it. It's great. We have a lot of fun, a lot of techniques and styles. Now today, I want to show you something that can be very helpful for you. And that is, if you have a photograph from nature and decide, um, how do I want to paint this? I have a little help here that is going to be where I have cellophane on top of the photograph so I don't hurt the photograph. And then I can make touches of paint just as if they're on the photograph and analyze it and see if I like it. If I don't, you can always wipe it off. But we'll, we'll go with this. This is a photograph of an outdoor scene. It reminds me when I was in West Virginia one Sunday morning and uh, I was walking out and I thought, oh, what a great cathedral. Oh, what a great place. So now this is not that one. This was, that just remind me of that. Now on this, as I look at this, I think I want to emphasize a couple things that I think would help. And if it works on the plastic, then you say, okay, well, when I do my painting, I'll incorporate that thought. The strong light there is very good. My thought would be, would it be better if I have a little showing on this side of the tree too? Therefore, you would, you would emphasize the tree. So I'll take some yellow and white. And when, I, when I'm doing it, I, I'm testing a little bit. So I may go lighter than that, but we'll just see. So I want this on this side of the tree. And it doesn't have to be a solid opening. It really, I like that where it just kind of peeks through a little bit. Let's go a little higher. And I'll, I'll join the top two together so it uh, is a little different. I, I think that helped. In fact, even on this side, if I have just a little bit of the light coming down, sort of as a path. Now, the other thing that I feel is, okay, I have my path down front, but gee, it doesn't have the power that I want. So I'll take some of the yellow and white some more and put down here so we get a nice impact down close. So your eye is going to come right down there like that. And then to further enhance that area is what? Well, we have some nice reds up there. The, if you look carefully, there's some reds there, but they're not very powerful. I'm going to give you some vitamins. So we'll take some, um, what color are you? Your rose, just with a little white. We kind of step up gradually and see what happens. So we'll put this out here. Oh, gee, gradually, that's, that's very pretty. You are a beauty. And a little bit in the corner. I want to have some more red on the top, a rose, but I don't have any white with it. So it's, whew, let's change your mind. We'll use your neighbor, a lizard crimson. Yeah, that's just a little darker. I like that. And see, this is all speculative on will, will it help the photograph? Will it help when I do my painting that it has that added to it? There is a chance for uh, helping the path come down. You see the light, you see that. But if we can take, uh, let's see, let's take some um, your raw sienna and some orange and just a little white so that if I can come down, no, I don't want you. Sorry, orangey. I had a little white, blue and white to it to go with this tree. So I, I want to have just a little bit of a light on that side of that tree. So then my, my eye, you know, that looks almost like see-through. Let it be. That's a good idea. That'll be a see-through. So there's no light on the tree. Over on this side, let's have a little bit of that see-through. It will come first up here because see that nice, um, what do you call that? A crook in the tree? Call the police, there's a crook in the tree. So we're coming down with this. We'll 
Just spot a little bit at the top. I think that works. We'll have just a little light in there, a little more light in there. Okay, now I, I kind of like that. I'll put just a little extra blue and white over on these trees. This is, this is dark, but it's uh, meant just to give a little color interest there. Same way here. Oh, and then the neighbor. See, he's the lightest tree, and he's meant to be a real light. So we'll come and we'll put some real light on him. You kind of crook it at the bottom, but I just wipe it off. Isn't that nice about the plastic? You can just wipe that off. Now, I have over on the right, oops, there's one brush for the ages. Here is um, a nice place for color. So we'll go ahead and use you, Orange. We'll use you with a little alizarin and a little umber. Umber, do your stuff, umber. Okay, right in here. This is not competing with the red, but it gives some vitality to the colors there, doesn't it? And then the probably one of the last things we need to do is just take a little enhancement with yellow and green and a little bit over in this corner, a little bit up there, a little bit there. Oh, I love doing it. See, I think we've helped it. We've helped nature. Thank you. We've helped nature. You can find this technique as a way of helping you. You put it on, and the nice thing about it is, if you don't like it, let's just say that I didn't like the red there. You can just wipe it off. Super. See you next time. Bye-bye. Watch my show. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts, the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008 and by the members of Prairie Public. Music